Assalamualaikum. Hi everyone. My name is Zul Afida binti Abdullah. I represented my friends, Siti Aisha and Azaita Husna and also my my lecturer, Dr. Kamara Arifin from UTM School Dai to present the title of study, module development for the title, electronic programming teaching module, MPPE in the subject of design and technology form two. Our slide contain a topic which is start from research background, statement of problem, research objective and question, methodology, finding, discussion and conclusion. Research background. For this research, we do some preliminary study to get main issues and find the research gap, which is the main issues is about mastery of hot element amongst teachers and students in Malaysia. Need study report by Kosatan Restrial Education UK and 21st Century School and Journal of Education Leadership 2017. We also do preliminary study among RBT secondary school teachers in Kelantan using Google Forms through WhatsApp and Telegram. Preliminary studies found 70.6% of respondents stated that the most difficult chapter in RBT Form 2 was Chapter 2.4, Electronic Design. And problem identified was lack of reference material, Contents level too high, teachers like knowledge and experience, and also regarding the cost to prepare the teaching skill. Because of that problem, we found that hot element is unable to achieve successfully, and we had created and developed an electronic design teaching module, which is suitable to use by RBT teacher to teach students, especially from two who take RBT subject research objective identify the element in the development of electronic programming teaching module in rbt from two subject from the agreement of rbt teachers and expert group number two develop an electronic programming teaching module mpbe for form two design and technology subject based on cognitive load theory for the teaching and learning process in school. Number three, evaluate the suitability of electronic programming teaching module and PPE in RBT form two subject according to the view of the RBT head coach in terms of A, module delivery and presentation, B, contents of the module, C, language presentation. Number four, evaluate the usability of electronic programming teaching module and PPE in RBT form two subject through the implements of training of trainer, TOT, according to the concern of RBT head coach. Research question. We have six research question. Number one, what are the elements that need to be considered in development of electronic programming teaching module according to the concern of RBT uh, teachers expert uh, group. Number two, how the electronic programming teaching module and PPE in form two RBT subject based on cognitive load theory for learning and teaching process in school develop. Number three, to what extent in the suitability of electronic programming teaching module in RBT form two subject on del delivery and presentation of module according to the view of the RBT headquarters. Number four, what to what extent in the suitability of electronic programming teaching module and PPE in RBT form two subject on the contents of the module according to the view of the RBT headquarters. Number five, to what extent is the suitability of electronic programming teaching module in RBT form to subject on language presentation according to the RBT head coach? And number six, to what extent is the applicability of electronic programming teaching module in RBT form to subject through the implementation of a training of trainer TOT according to the agreement of the RBT head coaches? Research methodology. Now I will explain about research methodology. This study was conducted using design and development method by involving the need analysis phase 
design and development phase and implementation phase. We have chosen a qualitative and quantitative approach by presenting the method of exploratory sequence, sequential design. The cognitive load theory has underlined this study to assess the effectiveness of the cognitive and long-term effect on module user. Need analysis phase using semi-structure semi interview protocol method was conducted against three RBT secondary school teacher in Kota Baru to determine the element that should be present in the module. Then a questionnaire reviewed by 10 experts to obtain the validity of module contents using low she method. This man model has selected involved uh, input development and output phase. The final phase of the element implementation and evaluation phase involves a sample consisting of 22 RBT coaches in Kelantan using questionnaire to evaluate the suitability of module in terms of delivery and representation element, module contents and language presentation. Training of trainer is carried out at to assess the usability of a module. Now, module development. This is flow chat. It's one model that we use to develop this module. Then, as you can see, this is some part of module looks like. We choose orange color for the team and to attract module to attract module user. Then we put clear font and graphic and three hand hands on for the for do electronic activity. Lastly, in this research finding. We found that the elements should be considered in the development of MPPER, module delivery and presentation, module contents and language presentation. For research question number two, the module development process is guided by ISMA model and involves three phases and based on cognitive load theory. For research question number three, four, and five, we found the MPPE in terms of delivery and presentation, contents and performance of language was very suitable for teaching RBT, get very positive view and fulfill the spe specification and standard for a good module. And the last research question regarding the applicability of MPPE. The implementation procedure found that this teaching model has been recognized by 22 uh, JURBT meets the characteristic of good and high quality module in terms of reliability and usability of the module. For the conclusion, our research is this module could provide standard guidelines for uh, two RBT teachers for effective uh, practical teaching. It also can improve level of knowledge, improving student performance of theory and practice, and can produce highly skilled human capital that meets the needs of industry. Thank you very much.